Welcome to 50 Plus Tech. Today I'm going to do a super mini haul for some 3D printing parts that I got because I messed up my 3D printer. I need to clean up the uh, hot end because I'm having issues with uh, cruft is stuck in the extruder in the little hot end. I'm trying to remember what it's called now because I bought some of those. Um, so I, and I wanted to try a different type of bed and I bought some little accessories for my 3D printer. So I thought it might be fun because you don't see too many 3D printer unboxings or hauls or whatever. So I thought I would show you guys what I got. Um, so that's to do what I'm doing and I would do my best if not to um, show you my address. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay. I need to find myself a nice um, opening thing. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, so I got some little cookies to hold the beds on. I got red because the accessories that I bought um, are red. I'll show you that in a second. And then... Um, Okay, so here's the accessories I was talking about. I got the little wheels because I have I have these little black ones that come with the Reality Ender. So I got these. I've seen these on a few um, videos. So I got four of those. I'm going to replace them. So that's why I got the red clips because I'm just going to go red with the whole thing. We might print some red uh, other accessories to go with it, but. Um, and these are some, oh, what do you call those squeezy things? Um, springs. Ha! Ha ha ha. Yeah, I might be old, but I remember at some point. Okay, so I got some springs, um, to replace the default ones. They do recommend that you do that, so. All right, so that's that and that. Oh, there's my address. Make sure you can see it. And of course I don't have scissors, so I'm gonna have to poke if I can. And we have to use a uh, one of these things. Because I gave my scissors, my mom my scissors earlier and I don't want to disturb her and go get them. So let's see. I'm gonna apologize if the noise. Too much on the mic. I'll try to turn that down. What is this one? Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> I'll, probably, I'll have to put like a happy face or something in there so you can't see it. <laughs> okay. I was trying to mark it, um, mark the address with the mark that I never got to it. Okay, so that's this. I've actually had these for a while, but I've been holding on to them because I'm going to try. So this is a bed. Which bed is this one? Because I bought a glass bed and I bought, and they're really not very expensive. They're about 15 bucks. One was 15 and one was 18. And I believe this is the Creality. Um, where does it say what type it is? You guys see a mark on here? It says whether, oh, here we go. Should say on here. Creality Under 3 Glass Bed. Now that's what I have on my bed already, but um, it's looking pretty bad. So I thought I would get another one and take better care of it. Um, I'm really new to this, so I've been doing some stuff to it that I probably shouldn't have been doing to it. So I thought I would get another one and try and take better care. So I have not been able to print in a few weeks because I've been having issues. Okay, so this is the Creality Ender 3 glass bed. And again, they're not very expensive. I think this one was 18 and it never hurts to have an extra. It really doesn't. Okay, so how do I take this out? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. And what they said is that you need to clean it off really good. This stuff leaves the little which face leaves some gunk 
So then you need to clean it real good. But that's the Creality Under 3. And I think it, it'll work on a Creality Pro too. Mine's a V2, but the V2 and the Pro tend to use the same stuff. Okay, so that's the glass bed. You guys saw the accessories, the red accessories. I will do a separate video um, when I get everything on there. Put on the, uh, what you call it? Okay, I don't have that much room. Let's do this small. Okay, so the last thing, I think, oh, did, did, I've got two beds. One of them is the magnetic, is this it? Oh, yeah, I hope it didn't get damaged. It's not really in a box box. Okay, let me put this here. And what are you? Oh, this is. Does it have 0.42? I tend to use these are the little ends. I have the end that comes with it, but I don't think that I'm going to have to replace the end. I think I just have to clean it, but it doesn't hurt to have the actual ear. I can open. Does it have teeth? No, I'm just doing it backwards, that's why. Okay, so it comes with a bunch of different sizes. Again, this wasn't expensive either, so 0.5 millimeter. You guys see that okay? Probably not. Okay. One, 1 1.0, 0.3, 0.2, 0.6, 0.8. 0.4. This is the one I'm using right now. But then I can try different types of, of prints. I've been limited to ones that work with the 0.4. So I'll experiment with that a little bit later once I get everything all set up the way I want. Um, and I hope you may have been missing some of this. Okay, so this is the magnetic bed. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Um, Magnetic. Oh, this is actually kind of pretty. Um, I hope it's the right size. It should be. They said this is the... Okay, so this is a more flexible one. You put in there and then um, put it on, on the thing. And after you do a print, you should be able to kind of move this around and pop whatever it is you printed. Because one of the big challenges I've had lately is just because I did something to my bed and to my, so I'm going to go fresh and um, I'm going to clean up the hot end and uh, replace the bed and things like that. And, I, and that's what I've got today. Uh, next thing that I'm working on is the PC build that I've been talking about for a few months. Um, I'm talking about, you know, all the parts for the PC build and what you need to buy and things like that. So thank you so much for watching and we will, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.